So, uh, Cam Cam, what, how do you feel about my, gar- my girl Sarda's new design? Um, I really love it. And uh, I was kind of cracking up because um, I'm on the Walkie Talkie podcast. And Kamui said she looks like a lesbian librarian. <laughs> and oh I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, man, that's whack because I think she looks so good. Um, I really like the short haircut. I think that kind of mm-hmm. fits her style because she doesn't seem like the kind of girl who likes to deal with long hair. Mm-hmm. And um, I like the choker because uh, it accents kind of her longer neck. Mm-hmm. And I like the Uchiha earrings. I think it's a really cute touch. And Dope. the glasses, the they make her look a little bit more feminine and mm-hmm. grown up because mm-hmm. uh, like I wear glasses. And so like whenever you're a little bit younger, you kind of mm-hmm. wear like thick uh, frames. Mm-hmm. And then when you get a little bit older, you wear thinner frames. Mm-hmm. So I kind of like that touch. And um, I do like the top and the jacket. I think it's a great combo. So I love it. It, uh, It's an outfit you would definitely wear when you're like 15 or 16. So I think it's great. Oh, so so we always had the argument. um, I don't don't want to say everybody, but a lot of people had an argument that it's a little bit too revealing, a little bit too sexual. How do you feel about that? Um, I don't think so. Um, At least like for like a 15, 16 year old. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's bad just because she's not showing any cleavage. I mean, you don't see any. Mm-hmm. cleavage at all it's just like her collarbone and her shoulders showing mm-hmm. so i don't think it's bad at all i mean i mean of course we don't know what like the she's wearing pants or a skirt or anything i mm-hmm. do think if she's wearing like a teeny tiny skirt like she is in the manga i think it would be like ooh yikes because like <laughs> how are you fighting in that that's that's what yeah. always gets me i'm like how are you fighting in a tiny skirt right and um i do hope she is wearing flats because those heels bug me <laughs> um, so I'm hoping for a flatter shoe. That's what I'm hoping for. But no, I, I don't think it's uh, a little too. I don't think it's risque at all. I think it's great. Dope, dope, dope. I like that answer. I like that answer. I see what you mean. Do do Kunoichis usually wear flats? Because I could have sworn they they usually all wear like heels. Right? Yeah, I mean, normally like Sakuras and um and Shippuden, they were a little tall. And Tsunade's was wearing heels, but like hers, I noticed are like noticeably taller. Cause I feel like I compared them once, and they they are noticeably taller. They're like a few inches taller. So okay. I don't know. That's fine. I mean, I just like I don't like it. I just think it's a little too much for a twelve year old. I see. What you I mean. totally agree. Yeah, this is a little too much. I'm well, like, you said it. You do win, girl. What kind of mother are you? True, I feel you. Well, you kind of said a twelve-year-old, and I don't necessarily think that you that you're commenting too much upon how long you think the time skip is actually going to be. But that's like a big topic. Going she around. says sixteen. Yeah, I, I think I think she might be like fifteen or sixteen in this image. I feel like because I think oh, okay. like twelve, thirteen, 14. yeah, like four a four-year time skip. I think I'm hoping would be appropriate. Um, mm, just by the way she looks, I think it she would at least be fifteen or sixteen, like a teenager. In this photo yeah. is how she looks because it looks yeah. like she's kind of losing like the baby face. So, yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I, yeah. I when when I first commented on the design, I said I wanted to wait till the full thing actually did come out because as of right now, well, just off of the first frame, like obviously it's probably going to look like the best way that the writers actually do want to 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 actually be portrayed. But like once you actually do see in the manga, once you see it, even when you see in the anime, I think the anime is going to tone down a lot of the designs. But once you see in the manga frame after frame you're going to really get the idea of how good the design is or even how bad is that the design is if you guys don't really like it that much but i definitely do want to wait and see exactly how the full thing looks yeah and how it flows in the panel because i know sometimes uh manga artists are like they do change it up eventually because it's kind of hard to draw so you know mm-hmm. we'll see if her outfit changes you know in the middle yeah, of the manga sure. too so true thanks so did, were, were we going to give our opinions about Sardis design again? Because we kind of already did. We, um, we, we I haven't. Kind of, I mean, hmm. I haven't heard y'all's opinions on it. So, I am recent. The mo- my most recent content about Sardis design, I gave it an eight out of ten, which was my last hmm. video. But I gave it an eight out of ten. I think it, it's a decent design. The, the short hair, I thought it was a really, really interesting choice. It kind of matches her, as you said. 
it kind of makes her seem like she's going to be a lot more confrontational. She's going to be in a lot more combat, which is a very, very good thing for me. Hopefully, uh, let me say hopefully. I hope that that the um the anime design looks really, really good. I talked about a little bit before how the anime is going to tone it down. But usually, they, specifically with Sarda, the clothes are different. So hopefully, like if this design is actually good, because we can't really see the full, all, all the clothing. If the design is good clothing wise, I think that they, they should do like a one to one compare, a one to one switch to the anime. But specifically this, I thought that the choker, another thing that you commented on, you, I thought it was like a bit too much. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe, maybe I'm just an old head. I don't know. But a 15 year old, 16 year old wearing a choker, I thought it was a bit too, too much. That's one of the only things I did kind of find a tad bit weird about it. I like the actual um, accessories, the Haruno on the choker and also the Uchiha airing. In my personal opinion, I think that this right here is probably going to be something that we should kind of be looking forward to or even keeping tabs on to see exactly how this flows. Because I remember in the first chapter, Kawaki talked about how the Age of Shinobi was over. Now, all the designs are coming out. Boruto has some things on, on his clothes, mimic or basically symbolizing ninjas and shinobis sardas as well i think that's a very very good thing so i definitely want to keep an eye on how that right there's going to flow not only that the haruno on her choker i hope that this is some sort of symbolism like because in part one we barely got any in information or intel about the haruno's hopefully sorry just doesn't completely abandon that side of her family and I, I one of the interesting things that people have been talking about was the fact that she probably has boruto's jacket in my personal opinion, I, I I'm kind of going back and forth. I think originally I said it probably was, then it, then it, I thought it was probably wasn't. To be honest, I don't know specifically what it is, but I think if it is Boruto's jacket, I really do hope it's gonna have some sort of symbolism behind it. Like for example, Boruto gave her the jacket when he made his final goodbyes to the Hidden Leaf or something like that, and then we have like a flashback and they talk they tell the whole story behind it. Regardless of, of, of what it is, I hope there is, well, if it is Boruto's jacket, I hope there is a story behind it. But if it isn't, I guess we can't really have a story behind it. But regardless, just appearance-wise, I thought it looked I thought it looked decent. The choker might have been a bit, a tad bit too much, but I really, really do want to see exactly how it looks when the full design comes out. I think that, that right is probably going to be, like, the best moment. Yeah, yeah, and I totally feel that. I mean, and again, it's kind of picking from personal experience. Um I mean, when I was 15 or 16, like, I did wear chokers, and I did, like, chop all my hair off. So I think it's, mm -hmm. like, for a 15 or 16-year-old, it's kind of like you are experimenting with your uh, look. Per so, so, you know, that's kind of, I feel like that's kind of normal. Yeah, that, so, yeah. That's true. My daughter started trying to do her own hair, like, nine years old, I want to say. Eight years old, she started doing yeah. it by herself. Yeah. yeah. She never cut any of it. I would have killed her. Oh, yeah, for <laughs> sure. I never, I was like, mm. Same, same thing with my mother. She would have killed me. <laughs> True. Well, the, well, the, what, thing, the thing about yeah. Boruto's jacket, though, do y'all really think that's Boruto's jacket? Because that's his jacket right there. That's a jacket that he wears. And then that's Sarda's jacket. So you think it's like a one-on-one? -on -one or His jacket be looking different a lot. That's the thing. Yeah. And that that's like a fan art as well. It's so true. I I'm not completely sure about the about the design, designs being like one to one. Even if it is Boruto's actual jacket, I wouldn't be surprised if they still change the change change the design. So that's that's true. Yeah, I get what you're saying. And I mean, and she could have changed it up too. You know, she could have mm -hmm. uh, tailored it or something. You know. Yeah, to fit her better. Yeah. Yeah, fit her design better. Yeah, no, I, I get it. I actually like Sarda's design uh, a little. Um, a while ago, I thought it was a little bit too grown, but now that I get your perspective, like if it's like a, if she's in her teenage years in high school, I used to see girls dressed like that. Maybe not like the, what well, that's not a crop top. Um, what is it called when your shoulders? Like a halter are just, top. Yeah, halt, halter top. Yeah. So like, I never seen girls in school wear that, but like outside of school, yeah, I, I've seen that and stuff like that. And as far as like the glasses and the frames, yeah, I do see girls that like they'll um they'll make the frames a little bit small or like the outline of the frames a little bit smaller mm -hmm. and and things of that nature and the haircut i thought the haircut was a good touch um because i thought that it symbolized it, it symbolizes sakura when she actually had to cut her hair off and she went with the short hair look because at the beginning she you know she had a longer kind of hair and they was teasing her about it grabbing her hair and stuff and she finally cut it off with the um kunai 
So I thought it was like a homage to, to Sakura as well, um, depending on what where they go with that. And I never, I never, and are people probably going to kill me about this. I never noticed that she had the Uchiha crest in her ears. Oh, really? <laughs> never, never noticed. Never noticed. I didn't really like analyze it as hard as others may. But now that I'm actually like really looking at, I, I do see it. Yeah, it's it's tiny though, so I guess I'll give you a break. <laughs> Melo, what about you, man? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. My goodness. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I like the design when it came out. I was like, it's fire. Um, it's. I think the short hair is really cool. For me, it's more so. I'm, I'm trying to look for something that's like practical in terms of like what a female warrior should what you would imagine she would wear and how she would like, because, you know, most women fighters, they tie their hair up. They don't want to just, you know, in their face, in their wear. So the short hair makes a lot of sense. Um, and I wanted the actual outfit to reflect that, you know, uh, logical thread. Right. So I think that could be pretty cool. Um, but all things considered, I don't like, I think some people, they look at the choker and they associate that with like um, some kind of BDSM stuff, I would imagine. But chokers aren't like inherently sexual. So I don't really have a problem with that. It's just maybe bad stigma associated with it. Um, I do like, yeah, I do like the different uh, glasses. Uh, I agree with Cam Cam. It's just, it's just much better than like the big nerdy, thicky, like thick red ones. It's kind of weird. Um, and, but- yeah. Well, I was going to ask real quick. Did you guys like her having st- or still having glasses? I believe I kind of asked Free Game and, 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 and Mellow this. But Cam, Cam, your opinions about her actually still having glasses? I mean, I do like the glasses, but I mean, I think I've said this before. I'm like, I don't really get why Uchi has have glasses. I mean, I, I think like uh, in the original like Naruto series, I'm like, did I don't think any Uchi has had glasses. But uh, but but I'm like I, I mean I do like the glasses I think it's a cute touch it's like another accessory I feel like so it, it is a cute touch. I see what you mean. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't mind the glasses. There there were some in the anime at least because I didn't oh, read really? the Naruto manga, so I'm not really sure about the manga. I know how people mm-hmm. get like super antsy about canon and whatnot. I don't care, but in the anime there there was like this one. I remember because I was roasting them. I was like, uh, yeah. So. <laughs> I remember that guy. Uh, I think it was like when um they were they were complaining to Fugaku about how they were being treated post uh oh, Naito okay. attack. Yeah, so it was pretty interesting. Um but m- yeah, m- my whole thing with the whole sexuality stuff with her is um I don't really have an issue with women expressing their sexuality. In fact, I advocate for it it being how they want to express it. Um their freedom to do so. My only problem is I do think there is an element, I'll just say that, of uh, pedophilia in the anime community. And, I, and it obviously is going to stem from a certain culture. Um, and I just want to kind of like check that. Right. So it's it, that's really more so where I'm coming from with it um, in a vacuum. If, if, if a, a female can express themselves in any way they want to without having like weirdos. Try, trying to overly sexualize them, then that would be perfect. But that's like a utopia and we don't live in that world. So I, I think someone probably needs to mention it and say something about it. But I really don't have a too much of an issue with it from the feminine perspective. It's more so from like the the, the, the guy's gaze that I'm really focused in on. Um, but other than that, yeah, I think, it's look, I, think, I think it looks dope. I like the color scheme. I hope they keep that. The manga covers have a tendency to change color schemes for reasons so i hope they stick with the black and red and the white that that's a fire um trio uh short hair sick uh choker sick um glasses i don't really i don't think she needs them i just think it's like a like a fashion choice so i'm fine with that um and i want to see the rest of the design but so far so good yeah Yeah, definitely you, you you definitely know they change designs they change naruto design from the manga to the anime so they definitely do change designs Designs this designs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.